Never work. Well, that was still stupid. <laughs> yes, it worked. And we are now in a pretty grungy sort of vault. Is this fallout. I opened the door to somewhere. What's up? What's up here? I'm missing a wheel. Ha, huh. okay. Very interesting. Let's run back down here. So we need uh, one of these wheel things. Wheel, wheel handle. Um, let's run up here. Where does this go? Oh, are we back on the surface? Huh. An item can be placed here. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hiya, Ted! Just FYI, I bought... I brought the... Acetylene? Uh, I'm not sure how you say that word. Gas tank up to the farm for the annual staff barbecue. Completely corn-free, of course. Haha, <laughs> Bob. Bob, how many times have I told you that we can't have barbecues on the farm? Put it back. We're days behind schedule. And stop joyriding with the tractor dummy. Cordially, Ted. Huh. Well, there is a key. Uh, a small key. What's it say about it? It's a shame you don't have small hands, as handling this key would be much easier. Looks like a key for a toolbox lock, which should be useful if you can manage to find the fine motor skills needed to operate such a small instrument. Well, I bet he can help me with that. Oop. Yeah, I bet he could help me with that. So let's see. Great. Water. Blood is favorite. Yes. Water. Sure you don't like vodka? <laughs> Pretty sure he prefers vodka over water. Hey, Ted. I upgraded the lifting system so two people can use it at once. Our efficiency will nearly... Will, ne will nearly double. Bob. You know that I do not save this lightly, but this may well be the absolute worst idea you've ever had. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. So can I... Go into... I cannot go into the water. Okay, so... I'm assuming we're gonna have to, like... Pump it or something? A lot... Cello case... Bob, for the last time, stop leaving your junk everywhere. I don't know why you even have a cello case. You don't even own a cello. Dummy. Cordially, Ted. Hey, you. Can you open this for me? This, okay, maybe this key doesn't go there. Strange sealed box. Hey, a ten need this box of knickknacks loaded. Be a pal and move it for me, would ya? Bob. Bob. You sloth, I'm not your errand boy. Load it yourself, cordially, Ted. Huh. Interesting. Okay, maybe it's a di this goes to somewhere, something else. Uh, oh, there's a... What's this? An approved design for a loading crane. Created by Pete's Games and Carnival, the design of the loading crane appears to be based off of a sm simple claw game, a fact which incited Bob to no end. Ted, conversely, wasn't too thrilled about it, but was stuck with it anyway after Bob forged his signature on the approval form. Aha! Uh, let's see, is there anything over on this side? Oh. I got a 
Decide to pick this up because you like the direction of the grain in the wood and that it gives you splinters while holding it from every conceivable angle. Okay. Oh, a lot too lots. Stupid American garbage. What are you talking about? So we got a hammer and a box cutter. Um, for some reason you feel the urge to break something beautiful with this. Instead of doing the standard task of hammering a nail, you don't know why you think these things. And then the... Oh, crap, wrong button. The cheapest spot shutter commercially available, this brand holds the distinction of being the only one that is rendered completely useless after one swipe. Oh, well, that's perfect. Uh, and then, um, what's it, a sub-manual? An instruction manual for building your very own two-man submarine. Since Bob and Ted opted for the budget model, the manual is 800 pages long and mapped out in a fashion that is similar to a choose-your-own-adventure novel. Well, that sounds glorious. So I guess maybe that's where Bob and Ted went in the submarine and just bailed on this place? Maybe? I don't know what I'm trying to make there. Um, but I can definitely use the spots cheddar on the spots over here. To which there is a... Why well, you pick up so much garbage, idiot? Vladi does not understand. I don't understand either. A fabric. Priceless. I don't know what this is. Bob got his hands on these extravagant artifacts because he knew a guy and brought them in, or, and bought them in bulk so he could get a slight discount. He kept them even after he learned that they didn't contain any chocolate. Ha. Huh. Okay, well. Oh wait, so I put this down, and then I guess I smash it? I'm guessing? Smash, and what is there? Smash priceless uh, Fabergé uh, egg with hammer for some reason. Pri- or er, priceless lockpick? Usually the most expensive lockpick in the world, but you didn't really care because you have no idea how modern economics work. Well, that's okay. Um, and I assume I can unlock this with it. Um, nuclear fuel rod? Glad he won't save this, but he probably could crawl through that vent and unlock the door. What vent? What vent? Um, but anyway, what? For reasons known only to you, you are holding a very radioactive, radioactive fuel rod in your hands, ignoring every un, every known safety procedure for proper containment and storage imaginable. Well, that that's my character for you. Oh, what's this? This magic water pipe grants you the power to transport water from one end of it to the other. There will be no reason for you to do this at any point in this adventure, but you will continue to carry it anyway, just in case. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. Uh, oh, it locked behind me, I guess? Uh, in there? Oh, butzo boy! Go on, Vladdy. Stupid idiot, making Vladdy crawl through dumb thing. What is Vladdy supposed to do in here? Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid wires everywhere! Why is this stupid? Oh! Ah, ah, why is this stupid thing upside down? Makes no sense! How stupid are these idiots? Maybe if Vladdy gets. Oh! Ah, Poor Vladdy. Vladdy has to. Oh! Ah, yes, do this stuff! Ah! Ah! Boy, Gray, so many Hey, <laughs> idiot! Did that work? Stop being stupid and say something! Fine. Bloody done anyway. Two more Lushi drugs. Stupid idiot. Could get nowhere without Bloody. Bloody has to do everything. So, now what? That was the first thing you've done, Bloody. Otherwise, you've just kind of followed me. Wait. Miss these. Hiya, Ted! Since this is a highly sensitive area, I added a new security door. No need to thank me. Can't be too careful, Bob. Bob, you do realize that your new security door closes for no reason and lots of people inside this very secure area. Stop being cheap and get a door that works, moron. Cordially, Ted. Wow. 
I got a nuclear fuel rod that I'm just carrying around in my uh, hands, which I'm sure there will be no side effects to. Um, so I'm not sure what we do with this nuclear, nuclear fuel rod, but I assume we go plug it in somewhere. I came from that way. So what's in here? Okay, well that was a dramatic change. Um, Bob, you buffoon. Oh, uh, why is there a lobby here, and what happened to the decontamination room? Cordially, Ted. Hi, Ted. Pretty sure I told you. Did a little rework here. This faint vessel will be a really high traffic spot for the tour. Gonna be a real money maker. Words fail me, <laughs> idiot. Cordially, Ted. And stop it with the statues, cordially, Ted. Well, Bob is really full of himself, isn't he? Bob, I know this was flyer, and assume this was your work, so I will remind you, pools are not safe to hold chemical waste. Why did you order one, stupid? George Lee Ted. And then this was... The flyer for Paul's Pools and Pest Removal advertises bait savings for orders within, within a 20-mile radius of the shop, along with a free ex extermination of one pest. The cheapest pool in the flyer has been circled several times in red pen. Okay. Now, what is this room? A book of nuclear reactor maintenance guidelines. This is quite possibly the worst written book of guidelines in the history of time. None of the guidelines make sense, and the instructional drawings all consist of a stick person running away from a large fire. Well, that is just grand, isn't it? Restart nuclear reactor? Let's hold off on doing that for a moment. Bob, I have made this map so our staff can restart the, bar uh, the bargain basement reactor you ordered without blowing us all to kingdom come. Do me a favor and don't come anywhere near it, moron, cordially Ted. Ted! Ted! I solved your maze! Took me a little while, but I got it in the end! Bob, how are you this stupid? Did you get your decorative decor did you get your decorative out of a cereal? Doctorate! Oh my god, doctorate. God, I cannot read. Doctorate out of a cereal box, cordially Ted. Decorative? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I've been reading too much in this game. So where do I plug this thing in? I assume I plug it in somewhere. Try not to be an idiot in there. It would be very bad. Let it stay here, in case you do something stupid. Okay. Well, I will go... Well, let, let me see what it does if I... flip the lever. Okay, I can't do it yet. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to flip it and then run down here. Um, and do stuff. Okay, so there's rots blocking that way off. Open door to reactor room. Oh my gosh. This is not what's safe. Reserve power mode active. Sorry, countdown to a nuclear explosion. Move quickly. Uh oh. Go, 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 go. I gotta stop it before the bomb blows up or the this whole place blows up. Um, I don't know if I'm running the right way. Oh. Uh, this way. Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, this is just crap. Okay, yeah, that was the way I was supposed to go. Through here. There we go. Now run back and hit that button before you blow up. Uh oh. And it's already halfway through. Uh, let's see. Now you gotta remember the way back. Boom. 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 Before we die. Go, go, go. Oh, not there. 
Oh, 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 there. With 37 seconds left. Completely horrifying unsafe fuel rod installation procedure. Oh, complete it. Yeah, that's not safe at all. Um, I mean, it'd be... Yeah, that should definitely be an easier way of doing that, to be honest. Alright, so let's run up there and hit the button and bring back power for the corn lady. We started the worst nuclear reactor in the world. Yay! We did it! Facility power status. Okay. Cool. The lobby design brochure. A brochure for a company whose main goal is to fulfill all of your low to mid-level lobby needs. On the back, one design in particular, in particular is circled in red pen, the cheapest one. The company tagline reads, waiting never felt so good. Well, isn't that perfect? Um, so I guess I'm done with that? Turned on the power? Um, anything at the top of this? It's too dark in here. I can't see a thing. Perhaps if we turned around. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a perfectly nice place to stand. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Neither can I. Okay then. <laughs> What is this stupid thing? I have no idea, Vladdy. I have no idea. The control console slot. Hmm. Hey, this is for Again you. Again with the crawling! Stanya <laughs> Vesilo. Oh, what is Vladdy doing here? Is this Vladis' purpose? Crawling <clears throat> and climbing through stupid <clears throat> junk to get <clears throat> more stupid junk? Yes, yes it is. And for what? This stupid garbage? This is useless. No use, no purpose. Just more garbage. Garbage for idiots. Always... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Garbage. Yeah, so what do you get? Oh, oh, this garbage worth bloody suffering. But already know the answer. No, because it's garbage. <sighs> what stupid thing is next? And you're supposed to be a children's bear? <laughs> I mean, actually, you know what? Probably. Oh, those are the rings they are talking about. So, this is what stupid thing does? Vladdy still think <laughs> it garbage. Yep. That thing you did was important, probably. Oh, hey, this broke Vladdy off. think you may have problem, idiot. You take too much garbage. Yeah, but, you know, it has its uses, I suppose. I mean, some of the things, yes, has no use at all, but... You know. We're getting there. Alright. Um, let's go plug this wheel onto that other door and open it up and see what happens. And let's plug it in and turn it! What's hook to? Here, I just have to press a button. Boom. That does not sound good. Oh. Chitanya Vesilo. Why is this place so stupid? Nothing works. Idiot American machines. <laughs> well done, idiot. Breaking it will help. Stupid. Yep. You should take that dumb piece, see if you can fix it. 
Breaking everything won't help you progress in case that wasn't clear. Well, yes. Um, can I pick that up? Thank you. A new path is open to you. Head back to the communal grotto and down to level two. Okay, wait, well, what is this thing? Broken gear half. You need to figure out a way to repair this broken gear if you want to raise that giant hook to the sky. The fact that you know nothing about engineering, mechanical repairs, or finding things, things means that this will probably go very smoothly. Yes. So, where do I need to go? I need to go somewhere. Communal Grotto? What does that mean? Is that the reactor? Oh wait, oh, that's blocked off now. Well, okay. Thank you, Bottas. Hello. So I gotta go back up here and go somewhere. Is it? No, not this way. Let's see, what does this say? Communal Grotto. Useless garbage everywhere! Oh, wait. Uh, I could go. S there was a blocked off area somewhere in here. That was blocked off. That's not what I was looking for. So, everyone. So, boy, what a mess. Is this place where all the garbage come from? Yes, yes, it is. Um, so, I guess it's not this way. Oh wait, oh, to level two? Aha! This is a new thing. Well, now we're stuck in here. That's great. Real great. It is time Bloody told you where he is from. Bloody is from small box. Very dark, then stupid idiot brought him out the box, and it was sad. Now, we are here. Well, yes. Very nice. Uh, after an unexpected hit, the maligned uh, offer was forced to write a sequel. This time, he saved everyone the trouble of reading the book altogether and revealed the killer on the back flap. The novel actually chronicles the detective's struggle to return a pair of defective pants, which is from the first one. Okay, let's see what... Uh, Bob, I don't care how good a deal you got, no more lobbies. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. There does appear to be lots of lobbies. Oh. <gasps> we saw the big corn guy here before. And there's a red marker. You mistakenly thought this was a blue marker, but you don't want to put it back down. You don't want to put it back down lest you hurt its feelings. Instead, you will draw a face on something with it because you know it likes to do that. Hey, stupid. That is what uh, the big corn guy drew. Uh, water cooler. Why the hell? How, and also, how did I shrink a water cooler into my hand? You were mistakenly trying to pick up something else, but now you are in possession of an entire water cooler. You are too stubborn to put it down, so you're going to find a use for it. Carrying it everywhere you go. You didn't even empty out the water. Well, you know. That's what I do. Oh, so I, I guess we took a wrong turn somewhere. An excellent conclusion. Oh, yes, my. Right. So, what do we do? Well, naturally, if we take as many wrong turns as we possibly can, we will eventually make a right one. Of course. Brilliant. And if not, we'll take a nap. You read my mind. Perfect plan. Uh, so we got a rock and something else. Uh, workplace report. Giving up on the corn's ability to be weaponized on any level, the scientists, uh, scientists attempted to see if they could be of any use in the general workplace. They weren't, opting to take naps instead. However, the corn did display a fondness for stacking orange boxes, which they did so every chance they could, the goal of which seemed to be directing the researchers to do what they wanted. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we also got a rocky rock. Now, this is a rock that knows its place in the world, unquestioning, unwavering, happy, and basking in its complete and utter rockiness. You have named it Shelby. Yes. Yes, I have. Um, let's 
see. Hiya, Ted. Since you're so worried about security, I did you a favor and beefed up the doors to your room. You're absolutely welcome. Bob, you jerk. I can't even get into my room because of these stupid discount security measures. Fix it. I'm sick of sleeping in the grotto. Quartzly Ted. Initiate security check. Well, large jeweler can go there and... Oh, we're trying to make a, a face or a person. Great person. Um, see what's over here. This looks blocked off. What are those? They're like cans of tin company. Huh. Interesting. So that's all blocked off. Uh, and then there was. Let me see what's this way first. Uh, this is all blocked off. Um, cafeteria. Well, this is quite a mess. Oh, there's a potted pl plastic You'll plant. You'll take so many useless things, idiot. I know. You'd think this particular plastic plant was perfect, if not for the garnish pot it was attached to. You have an unnatural hatred for clay pots of every size, shape, and color. Okay, well, I am a weirdo. Um, is there anything else in here? Can't go back there. Can't go in there. Lot kitchen door. Can be can be opened from kitchen. Okay. So I can open that going the other way around. Alright, so let's go put... Oh, I can't put it there. You gotta separate it somehow. Interesting. Living quarters. So we put the potted plant there. Oh! Pruning shears. Ha ha! It's much nicer now. Doesn't have the dastardly potted plant. Bob's journal. Written entirely in red pen, it isn't so much a journal as it is a mindscape with occasional pictures. Massive, ambitious plans are written down and abandoned midway through inception, and sometimes mid-sentence. Well, that's just great, isn't it? Ca capuchin treats. Okay. Bob mistakenly thought that capuchin was another word for del delicacy, and ordered thousands of boxes to snack on. When he was told that the snacks were, in fact, for monkeys, he ate them anyway. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and this was a navigational chart. It's a small navigational chart of the Pacific Ocean with a very peculiar course plotted from the United States to an island in the middle of the ocean. The course has more in common with the movement of a small fly than any nautical vessel. It's apparently part of Operation Sub... Quan... Quan... Whatever. Uh, but owing to your poor understanding of all languages, you mistakenly think that it's a chain restaurant specializing in Italian cuisine. How? But okay. So. What do I do here? I can put something there. I still have this English muffin from the very beginning. Well, I can go put the potted plant on this. So. so am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. What am I missing? Missing something somewhere. Oh. More statues. Bought in bulk and commissioned in a variety of materials, Bob seems to have ordered more statues than he can possibly be than can possibly be fit inside the facility due to this the statue storage fee is also included. He did indeed get a discount, but the cost is so outlandish in the first place that the missing zero is barely noticeable. Good lord, that was like twenty over two million. Uh, okay, so there's nothing in here. So where do I go? I feel like I'm missing. Oh, here. Oh, 
and there's like 30 bots. This is absolutely positively fine of uh, sturdiest bots you will ever find, except for the one you see immediately after you pick up this one. You now have what is known as Botser's Remorse. Well, okay. And that bot goes there. Boom. And we can go down here and probably get the last part. Right? Or we do something with it. Daily planner. Uh, the final page consists of. Oh. The final page consists of six appointments, 9 a.m. do nothing, 11 a.m. pick up new fedora and glove, noon torture stupid corn for amusement, 3 p.m. hide to avoid work, 5.45 torture corn, 6 p.m. initiate master plan. Huh. Hiya, Fernando. Could you uh, be a pal and place the tour brochures across the facility? There's only a few hundred, so you'll be able to do that in no time. Flat. Oh, God. Fernando, you... Cretan, ignore that idiot Bob's request. What you really need to do is sort the samples in the genetics lab from least reactive to most. So go do it, cordially, Ted. Hiya, Fernando. Got a more important job for you than that. Need the statue delivered above, directly above you. Moved about an inch or so. Scaffolding's already set up, so you'll finish it in about an hour or so. Thanks. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. We don't need yet another insurance claim. Instead, go to the second floor of the barn and observe the corn's behavior in their habitat for several days. Cordially, Ted. Fernando, you lazy oaf, don't touch that statue. Oh, wait. And don't move a muscle. That'll throw the dad off. Cordially, Ted. Hi, Fernando. Don't worry about that observation stuff. The corn will take their own notes. Really need you to hang about a few dozen new paintings that just came in. Be a pal and set that up. Would ya please? Thanks, Bob. Uh, Fernando, you twit. Don't lift a finger for those paintings. Instead, use this pen. Draft a letter for me. Dear Bob, you are a nitwit and an idiot. Cordially, Ted. Cordially, Ted. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Fernando is the guy we found at the beginning in the field. Um, who is that? Uh, the assistant. A peculiar book on how to be an assistant in the workplace whose end appears to be to do as little work as possible. Chapters include how to shred everything and intro into hiding in the office and shifting blame to the intern. Okay, God. So much. A medicine ball. And a coffee trolley that's out of coffee? And a master plan appears to be the only thing Fernando, the founder's assistant, put any effort into aside from shredding important documents and wearing fancy fedoras and gloves. It is a very poor plan involving jumper cables, a strange lightning rod, and somehow turning into an all-powerful god. Notes read that the stupid corn told me their secret, and Bob and Ted will now will be my assistants now. Oh, so that's what he was doing with the lightning rod. Well, we all know how that went. What was that? The music just kind of blurred for a moment. Oh, wait. There was a ball thing back in this room, which I can do something with, I assume. So then what do I do with it? Aha! Use marker to draw the worst face in the world. It appears you took drawing lessons from the lever couch. Yep. That looks about right. Probably can fool the security camera, though, if I had to guess. Boom. Aha. Now we can get into Ted's living quarters. That does not sound good. Aha! I finally found you! You've fallen into my clutches, just like all the others. I must say, I'm quite disappointed. I thought you were more clever, more interesting. But no matter. Now, your suffering will be so incomprehensible that your small mind will stupid break! Stupid plant, why is your face like that? But, <laughs> what is that? Your stupid face is very bad. Dumb plant. Is that on purpose? <gasps> Shut up, you mean furry stupid! How dare you! I am the pinnacle of my race. You will pay for this insult. Let me just. Ow! Uh, What's stop, up, boy? Stop biting! Oh, get some new chicken. You're a silly. Jeez! 
Fighting is cheating. I win by default. Ha 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 Your plans have been foiled by my plan, which are better than yours, you dummy. Ha 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 What? <laughs> and I am most certainly not retreating. Ha 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 You know, this place is filled with idiots. <laughs>